Hello everybody, my name is Zenith, and welcome back to Morrowind. So, I'm not sure if this is recording or not, but if it's not, then I guess you just guys just won't be seeing this, but... So we are going to be loading from before the save here, because I'm basically dead right here. Okay, we're just going to get right back into this and, s and start going back towards uh, Balmora. The audio sounds kind of low, so... And that's alright. Uh, okay, we're gonna start heading back to Balmora now. We're gonna have to keep our uh, eyes on the sign this time, so I don't wander anywhere I'm not supposed to be at. would be quite unfortunate to run into another one of those things. A sign. I should definitely read that. Probably give us some useful directions. Ghostscape and Balmora. Well, I guess I have to pass through this area. Ash storm or not. Hopefully there's no more cliff. Oh, there's one of these things. It appears to be stuck. Soundtrack, The Blessing of Vivek. How do we change the point of view again? Um, toggle POV tab, okay. Oh, so this is what I look like. Not bad, I suppose. I guess we'll... I guess we'll stay in third person for a while. Oh, I got him. Let's try going this way this time. Yeah, I went the complete wrong way last time. Another enemy. Oh! Whoa. Got him in a single hit. I believe you can actually get some free gold off a plate here, and not get arrested for stealing. We don't have to worry about, uh, stamina, because we won't be fighting any monsters around here. Any time now. I always thought playing as a Dark Elf in Morrowind felt, like, more natural. Oh, never mind, that's not where we need to go. Wait, I believe you can actually take gold off this plate. It's not considered stealing. 
Any time now. Oh, never mind. Dang it. Oh. Let's see what you're made of. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna, you know, kind of load back. Oh, the Sphere Centurions look different. This... Yeah, that certainly didn't go well. So I guess we're just gonna have to, you know, continue moving on. Because I thought I was gonna take the gold instead of the plate. Okay, let's keep moving. You run pretty slow in Morrowind, I always thought. That was like, he's barely the lake. I guess that's not all that slow. If I remember correctly, I better ready, ready my weapon. One of those Kwamas up ahead. Tries to say as far as back as we came from this thing. Ow! Either I'm a terrible shot, or I'm just not used to combat in this game. It's definitely one of those. Dispose of oh, there's something on it. Oh well. Requip my bow. I think I'm gonna stick with the bow through through this game. Okay, let's go. All right. Hit it. <clears throat> Why is combat in this game so annoying? And if I remember correctly, I don't think I'll be facing off against any enemy soon, so we're just gonna, you know. Doesn't matter if we have low or even no fatigue. There's another enemy ahead. Why is there more than there was uh, when we went down here first time? Never really was a good archer. Never actually played it as an archer Morrowind or even tried to use a bow. We're gonna go with our bow, because that seems like a... Another ash storm? Seriously? Gotta get the stones quickly. <clears throat> I'm really sure I did go the the right way this time. We're just gonna have to hope for the best, you know? This doesn't look like the same way as I took last time. Am I lost again? Yes, I did go the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Of course. Zenith is an idiot. You know what, we're just gonna, you know... I feel like a complete retard for getting lost like that.
I knew I went the wrong way. Saran. Pelagiad. No, I did go the right way. What the hell? Okay, I must have not taken, like, the right path or something like that, then. Okay, I'm not good at Morrowind. I'm just gonna clarify this right now. I suck pretty bad at it. Just, uh, to clarify this. This is the right path. For an older game, I still think it's beautiful. We're not going towards that tower this time. Let's just gonna move on. Actually, if I remember correctly, there's a room where we can actually steal stuff out of. Where, like, no one will be there. Are you sniffing me? <laughs> Stop sniffing me. I think it's this one? Yeah, there's a crate with, uh, stuff in it. We're just gonna take a quick peek. No one's here. Okay, good. We didn't get caught. As some idiots say, it's not a crime unless you get caught. Oh, looks like, um... <laughs> Blacksmith place. Hello. I don't know you. What do you want, Carter? I don't have like any gold, so I'm just gonna have to see like what kind of stuff there is. I could sell out for gold to buy something else. No, no, I think we're good for now. Yeah, we can't really afford anything. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Oh, shut up. Oh, I believe that's... Going to one of these doors? Yeah, I think I can, like, actually, like, take this without getting... attacked. Because I took the plate last time by mistake. Yeah, you can totally take the hundred gold on the table. For some reason, I clipped the tape, the plate, instead. You again? Yes, because I'm buying stuff. They certainly do not like Outlanders here, do they? Well, I got 108 gold, so what should I pick up? Imperial Chain Curus. Imperial Steel Pauldron. Repair tongs. Throwing Stars? Forgot they had those in this game. Steel club, steel battle axe, imperial broadsword. That does sound good. Silver short sword. Steel tonto. Iron dagger. Iron dagger. Iron war axe. Iron broadsword. Iron axe. Imperial shield. Those are pretty expensive though. I think we'll buy, um, hmm, did my Nets weather armor still in good condition? Yeah. I already got an Imperial short sword from the chest, so, hmm, I think we'll go with the, um, I think we'll sell this.
offers of you. Let's go with the chip one. Thank you, please come again. Okay, we have 121 gold now. Okay, cool, I have enough for the chain curious, I think. Yeah, and I think I might have enough for the match leggings after. Let's try to get one gold off that. Sweet. If you want something, now's the time to talk. Okay. Throw this on. Let's check how it looks. Not bad. Throw a Netch Leather Greaves. I have. Okay, let's try to get one gold off that. Or... Offers refused. I can't afford this. I don't buy that. I'll go to hell. Fine, I'll sell my dagger then. I can't afford this. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I don't buy that. Oh my god. Um, screw it. Let's attempt to buy it again. Next to the leggings. Total cost, 24. I don't really want to get, like... Uh, I don't want to get rid of this, because this can help. This can help me out. I guess I do have my bow, but I'm running low on arrows. So maybe I should, um... Maybe I should, you know, just stick with what I have now. Sailor Max, let's oh, screw that. Okay. Do we have enough for, like, um... Cheap... A cheap helmet or something like that? War axe. Uh, I suppose I'll just part with this and buy a cheaper weapon. Oh, never mind. That was the wrong way. I guess. What? Only asking me for 11 gold from that. Screw that. Whatever. I got okay armor for now, anyway. So I have like 21 gold left over, so. I had. I'll head to the next town. I'm hoping it actually, it's actually recording right now, because if not, then I'm going to feel like a huge idiot. That's the right way? That one, not perfect. Also another town that way, if I remember correctly. Once we see a bridge made out of stone, then there it is. That's the same music you can hear when in the towns in Skyrim. Ah, look! A silk strider comes into view. So does the town. Perfect! We are here. Let's see, what does this say? Welcome. Yo, oh, that's what a lot of people would say. Oh, hello there. Fresh game. Greetings, citizen. I am Hull. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house Halalu town. And loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Um, Balmora. Balmora is the council seat of the great house of Halalu. And the largest and the largest town on Vardenfell, except for Vivek City, located on the Odai River and sitting astride the Aldurn Vivek Road. Belmora is an important mercantile trade and travel enter. High Town is the shops, guilds, and trade house of the commercial districts north of the river. Labor towns, modest corner clubs, and homes are south of the river. Uh, it's of, of the Empire. We've had peace and prosperity at Morwood under the, the Empire for a century. It's a government by law, and the Legion enforces that law. 
The Empire has free trade and free religion. So we're rich in pockets and spirit. Yes, there is corruption. Yes, there are crimes and criminals. Yes, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. But overall, things are pretty good. Okay then. Well, it's self wall. Southwall is a working class corner club in Balmora, kept uh, east of Odai River on the south end of Laker Street, owned by Bacola Capclosius. None of the Halalu councillors live in Balmora. Nileno Deraven at the council hall is the wrecking Halalu local <clears throat> at the Fighters Guild. Oh, Ida's Fire Eyes, the Stuart, Urhasi, Rilvan, is the Morag Tong, Stuart, the name I don't know how to pronounce, is the Stuart of Balmora Tribunal Temple, Sugar Lips Hibasi is the local Thieves Guild boss, who am I missing, oh, Mage Guild, Runus Athras is their Stuart, okay then. Belmore is a big town, think in terms of districts. High town on the hill to the west has the temple, Hawalu Council Hall, Rich Manors, Better Shops, and the Morag Town. The commercial district just west of the river has the Fighters Guild and Mages Guild. Shops and Inns, Labor Town, east of the river, where the commoners and poor live, has only South Wall Corner Club, Fort Mammoth, or Fort Moon Moths. South east of town houses the Imperial Garrison and the Imperial Cult. Continue. Roads south lead to Pal Pelagiad, Sedanine, and Vivek. Silt Shutter service goes to Sedanine, Alderun, Saron, and Vivek. Roads north lead to Caldera, Alderun, Caldera, and Alderun. Guild guides are at the Oh, guild guides at the Mages Guild can teleport you to Eldrun, Vivek Kaldura, and Sadrith Mora for a fee. Hla Oda is south west on the coast. There's no trail and it's easy to get lost. The only route to go skate is via Foyoda Mamea or Mia or whatever. Thank you for the information. I, when I was uh, younger playing this game, I never like usually talked to people. I just kind of like wandered around. So in this let's play, we're just gonna kind of like talk to everyone and get all the in info, even if that makes the longer videos longer. So your name is Zenith, and you're new here in Balmora. Well, my name is Hedvild, and I don't mind answering questions. I have nothing else in mind right now. And if I start to bore you about more wind lore, just let me know. Fort Moonmoth. Let's get to know about that. Fort Moonmoth is the Imperial Legion's garrison south east of Balmora. Just outside of town, General Larius Vero is on is the commander or commandant. And Rad Hardheart is the chapter steward. The chapter steward is the uh, fellow to talk to if you're thinking of enlisting. Krolifus on Tianin, whatever, is the Imperial Agent between the Imperial Legions and the Imperial Cult Staff. They have about a dozen service providers out there. Imperial Cult. Bemora's Imperial Cult Shrine is outside of town to the southeast in Fort Moonmoth. Aldassi III Othern is the priest in charge there. The altar that cures diseases and poisons, and they offer various other services as well. So take a little bit of advice from them. You look like you might might not faint when heavy armor. You might check out the Legion garrison at Fort Moonmoth. They like them big over there. Okay, I took that out of context, and maybe they're looking for recruits. Good benefits: change for advancement, get a piece of land at a retirement, maybe even end up a night. Okay, well thank you then, sir. What's this place? Armorer. 
But I'm gonna see if I can pick up like a cheap helmet or something. Meldor. Hello friend, I'm Meldor. Welcome to Belmore. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. Or try, anyway. And if it's just a little advice you, you'd like, that's fine too. Looks like I can pick up some, uh, more chit and armor here. Yeah, the armor here's pretty cheap, so I suppose I can pick some up. Left gauntlet. Um, right, ga right gauntlet. That costs 22 gold, but it says it's only... Oh my, oh my god. Let's try to get it down by one gold. Awesome. This better be important. It was, I just bought stuff from you. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Ah, oh, there's a garden here. Speak, traveler. Oh. What was that? Me walking, I guess. Okay. Let's go find Caius Kosada. Don't press your Quickly, life. Outlander. I haven't much time. Okay, I think that's the way I came in. And this is the way... Ah, yes. This is the Say way... Say your words. Oh, hey, Nora. Welcome to Bethmore, Council Seat of House of How can I service you? No more. Okay, I've already seen that. The Guild Guide. A Guild Guide is the spellcaster of the Mage's Guild who provides... Magical transport for a small fee. You can only travel from one mage's guild to another. But it is the fastest way to travel uh, between Vivek, Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, and Sadrath Mora. Mosid. Mesolinic Merian is the guild guide at Balmora's mage's guild. For a small fee, she can te teleport you directly to the mage's guild at either Vivek, Aldrun, Caldera, or Sadrath Mora. Very nice. If I remember correctly, I think you get a bit of gold from Caius Corsadas. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Right, I believe this is the house right here. Ah, perfect. Caius Corsadas. <laughs> Why are you shirtless? What? Yes, some Kaius Posadas, but what do you mean you were here told to report Kaius Posadas? Yes, I have a package for you. Very interesting, so it says, are you ready to follow my orders, Zena? Yes. Welcome. Okay, um... Quarters. 200 gold! Oh yes, let's go buy some stuff. Head straight back to the armorer. I'm pretty comfortable with the bow Speed I have at the moment, so we're gonna head over to the armorer, and if we have some leftover gold after, we'll pick up like a sword or something. Kind of blinding. Alrighty. For the longest time, Morrowind actually wouldn't work on my PC for some strange reason. Okay. I think it's this way. I believe this is the armor. No, that's the outfitter. What's this? That's the trader. Revere. I will review the trader. Haha. Uh -huh. Well done. Go ahead, I'm listening. So, we got... 200 gold to spend. What will we buy with this 200 gold? Let's see what's... A decent... Uh... Nordic Trollbone Helmet. Native armor, wind, and bone mold helm. I think we'll buy this 
try to get a get one gold off of it. Every little bit helps. Sorry, you know? stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. That's about good. That looks good. I'll also buy the um boots and green. Not the best armor, but it'll do. Okay, let's head straight over to the um let's see if we can find the weapon person. I think we'll check the trader. Oh, there you are. Revere knows why you're here. You want to find Revere's famous Daedric weapons? Oh, it's like a conjure weapon of some sort. Demon Tonto. Oh, it's like, um... I remember actually killing this guy once and taking the stuff he had. Nordic Iron Helm. Let's see what weapon you have. A steel dart. Um, chitin short sword. Let's see if he has. Okay, let's pick up some arrows for a bow. Pick up a bow. Thirty more. Then we'll go with about twenty-seven more of them. See if we can get two gold off. No. One. Thank you, come again. Do I have enough for one more weapon? I have about 40 gold. A silver dagger. Scroll through this, see if there's anything else. Armor reading 5, armor, armor reading 11, armor reading 11, okay, my current is better than them, than uh, those, Chet, is that better than the next ones, yeah it is, I guess we'll s what, no, why do you approach? What do you think? I'm buying stuff. Okay, let's go, um... Let's go pick up, uh, the tower shield from him, so we have a bit more protection. Go ahead, I'm listening. I think he had a tower shield on him. Next leather tower shield. Okay, we'll pick that up after looking at some other stuff. Sure. One gold off. Now we have ten gold. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Looks good. We are all outfitted and ready to go. But unfortunately, that's all I have time for. Because I got some stuff to do. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.